Hello and welcome everybody. Today is Tuesday, April 14th, 2020. I hope all of you are staying safe and healthy out there. Today I'm making floor system test number 51. Once again, this is uh, on a weekday. I've uh, had a lot more time during the week to uh, focus on the system and uh, messing around with it. I'm still helping out with uh, food distribution for my school district and getting home very early. So as long as this uh, pandemic continues, I will hopefully continue making uh, more system tests. But today I have um, a different setup for you guys. It is an all simplex system. So for those of you who um, don't really like Simplex. I know there are quite a few people out there who don't really like Simplex. Um, the next test, I'll have a little bit more variety. So I know I've been using a lot of Simplex devices lately. But today's test is going to be uh, very different. It's going to be something I've never done before in the uh, history of this channel. So I hope you guys will enjoy. As usual, I have the uh, 4010 and the 4005 powered up and ready to go. As usual on the 4010, I say as usual a lot, I have uh, the Simplex 4099-9003 and uh, the same 4250-120 from the last test. On the 4010, I have my Simplex 4903-9168 15 Candela free run speaker strobe. This is one of the units that came out of uh, my dad's work uh, several years ago. Why do I have a speaker strobe on the system? You guys will find out later. On the 4005 system, I have one of my Simplex 2901-9838 slash 2903-9101 horn strobe combos that came out of the 2000 South uh, Naperville Road building. And next to it, I have my Simplex 4904-9177 remote strobe, uh, 15 Candela, set on free run. So today, since uh, the systems are so completely different and I want you guys to get a, an individual taste of each system, I will be ap activating the panels separately not together. So I'm actually going to start with the 4005 today and uh, do the electromechanical horn. For the record, this is not the same 9838 that I used in test 50 and it is not the same one I used in test 49. I have like four of these in my collection now, but um, two of them on the 9101 strobe plate. So this one might be a slightly different pitch than the last two you guys have heard. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to set the camera down really quick, put on some hearing protection, because why not? I don't need it, but why not? Um, and the 4005 is coding the horn to March time. So I'm going to run this really quick. Here we go. Three, two, one. The horn uh, sounds really raspy. I don't think it's an issue with the horn itself. I think it's um, simply how I have the device leaned up against the panel that's making it sound like that. So um, the horn is not actually that raspy. It's just the way I have it propped up against the enunciator panel. So I'm going to put a reset in the 4005 via the enunciator. Wait for that to reset. The 9177 is on neck too, so it's still uh, flashing. And the enunciator panels. This 
This thing takes forever. Okay. For some reason, that feels like it took uh, longer than usual. I don't know why. So, on to the 4010. As I said, I have a speaker strobe on the system. What could I have a speaker strobe on there for? Let's find out. Three, two, one. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, voice evacuation. Now, this isn't what you guys might think. Let me uh, go ahead and set the camera down really quick. In fact, for those of you who know anything about the simplex voice evacuation messages, you will know that that particular message can only be generated from a Simplex 4100 series um, voice evacuation panel. A panel that has the, uh, the voice evacuation bay on it, which I obviously do not have. So, where is that coming from? It is coming from over here. Well, actually from here. This is my uh, new Optimus um, MPA slash 40 PA amplifier. I got this guy off of eBay for uh, 35 bucks. It's a 20 watt PA amplifier. And uh, this is a really simple setup. Um, I call this the uh, Cheap Skates uh, voice evacuation system because it's really not a voice evacuation system at all. Um, all that's happening here is. I have my laptop right here playing the uh, voice evacuation message. 3.5 uh, millimeter audio jack to RCA jack cable going into the aux in on the amplifier. And uh, a wire with the 70 volt and comm connection going. Zoop to the speaker strobe. And yes, um, I was operating it manually via the space bar on the laptop, so it did not actually shut off when I hit the silence button. Um, some of you may criticize me for uh, not um, going the extra length to actually wire the um, amplifier into the panel, like um, a lot of people do with these um, these cheaters uh, voice evacuation systems, but I don't see a reason to because um, I'm only going to be using this amplifier periodically and in my opinion it's just it's just a waste of time because I don't even know how to do it like where you actually um, wire the uh, relay on the panel to on the amplifier, but um, if you can get this to work all that happens is the enunciator will uh, pretty much, I believe all the relay can do is turn on the amplifier. Either that or somehow make the audio file start playing from the computer. That's all it does. And the audio file can be um, anywhere, you know, wherever it was played last or whatever. And this is just for demonstration purposes, so I didn't see a reason to 
actually wired it, it into the panel. But um, like I said, the amplifier, it's uh, an MPA 40, 20 watt. Um, it's rebranded by Optimus, but I believe the um, actual manufacturer is realistic. And these were also rebranded by Radio Shack. So I um, got a really good deal on it. And um, my inspiration for buying this particular model is um, YouTuber Charlie Davidson, uh, formerly Soccer Dude 7330, who um, had one of these amplifiers on one of his very old system tests. Since I was, uh, I was trying to find a good amplifier to use. And there were other options out there, but I wanted... An actual PA amplifier, and I, I had wanted to see, I w had wanted to get one that I knew would work, um, and would have the um, 70 volt output for these speaker strobes, which a lot of these fire alarm speaker strobes take. So anyway, um, all the 4010 is doing is uh, operating the strobe. Otherwise, uh, in fact, I'm not going to take the dress panel off, but I have uh, neck one completely resistored off in the panel, so. I'm a cheater, I know. And I'm also not interested in purchasing a uh, voice evac panel. I could give a lot of reasons for that, but essentially this is a hobby system. Um, and by simply having an amplifier and the laptop, um, I can play any kind of tone or uh, message that I have saved on the computer. In fact, I can play anything um, on the computer on this uh, to have it come out the speaker on the speaker strobe. So I have some other speaker strobes I can use. I have the True Alert speaker strobes and everything, but I just wanted to start off with that guy. But uh, anyway, that's about it. The amplifier will be used again in some upcoming tests. Um, I may use it on and off, but um, it'll always be over there. I'm also working on purchasing, or I actually already have a microphone that should work on it. One of my uh, Sure or I, not one of my only, I only have one. It's a Shure um, SM58, I believe. I just need to get an XLR to quarter inch uh, converter cable to make that work. And then I can actually um, plug in the microphone and directly talk over it. But um, this will be used in the next system test and it will be used in future tests. But it's always going to be over here and I'm just going to use it on and off depending on what I'm doing. So. Anyway, there was my, um, there was the 4005 system with the 9838 and my uh, Cheaters uh, voice evacuation system. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe out there. Stay healthy. Practice uh, physical distancing, as I said, and uh, please wash your hands. That'll be it.